Hi dear friends and students, welcome to this Geo Entire YouTube channel that is all about the Earth. So today we are going to discuss one more important topic in engineering geology because engineering geology we have different aspects. So what are the different geological applications that are generally used in this particular engineering geology? In this lesson we are going to discuss what is dam, what are the main objectives behind the construction of the dam. Then third thing that is we are going to discuss in this lesson that is the what are the different types of dams, how the dams are classified into different types. So basically there are three types of dams that is the gravity dam, then second one is the arc dam and third one is the earthen dams. So what is the essential conditions, how these types of dams are generally constructed across a river valley. So that aspect we are going to discuss in this particular lesson. So what is that dam? Dam is nothing but the a solid barrier constructed at a suitable location across a reefer valley. So that is nothing but the dam. You see in my side figure how the dam is constructed. Suppose this is a river. You see in my side figure river is flowing in downward direction and at a suitable location there is a barrier is constructed across the reefer valley at a suitable location that is nothing but the dam. When we are going to construct a dam there should be some objectives. So what are those objectives? So first we will discuss some important objectives behind the placing dam. So what is that objective? So first objective may be generation of hydropower energy. You see there are lot of dams in India. In Hingoli district there is a dam called as Yeldari dam. There we can generate hydropower energy. So one objective behind this dam construction is maybe hydropower energy generation. The second objective providing water for irrigation facilities. You see uh, in an adjoining area if suppose land is there and land having not much getting water in summer season. By constructing such dams, we can give water to the lands of the farmers. Then third objective that is the providing water supply for domestic as well as industrial uses. You see in every state, in every uh, district place, there is an industrial development corporation in India. And for the industrial development, there is a need of water. If in that particular area, if there are different industries are there, so by giving water to them, so they can produce more product. The fourth objective behind the construction of the dam, providing navigational facilities. This is the fourth objective. Then fifth objective behind the construction or location of the dam is the fighting droughts you see in India. There are some places in Maharashtra particularly you see in uh, some part of Sangli, Satara, uh, some part of Solapur, there is a severe drought. So we have to fight against the drought condition. So there is a need of dam. So that is the one more objective behind this dam construction or location. Then one more objective that is the controlling floods. You see in North India there is a one river uh, in northeast we can say that that is the Brahmaputra river. It carries a lot of water. To control such type of floods there is a need of dams. So by constructing dam on the river we can control on the flood. So this is the one more objective behind this construction of or location of the dam. Then there are again different objectives. We can develop fisheries by constructing dam in that particular area. So if we are going to achieve these objectives in that particular area, then we can locate, we can construct a dam on the particular reefer. So this is the dams and different objectives behind the construction of dam. Now you see there are so many people or there are so many students they are confusing. What is dam and what is reservoir? You see in my side view, so there is a dam. Dam is only barrier. Artificial water stored basin, it is part as a reservoir. So that is the main difference in between reservoir and dams. 
so reservoir and dams both are different things so now we will discuss what are the different types of dams you see the types of dams are classified on the basis of different things so first thing the dams are classified according to the design of construction that is the first thing second thing material of construction which type of material is used for the construction of the dam then third thing that is the size of construction whether it is small dams or larger dams on the basis of these three things dams are classified into different types there are basically three types of dams so first one is the gravity dam then second one is the arc dam and third one is the that is the earthen dam so these three dams we will discuss in more detail particular in this uh, lesson so now what is gravity dam gravity dam it is defined as a dam it is made up of solid concrete structure and having triangular profile when we see the side view of such dams or such uh, walls of dams it is triangular in nature and the strength of the foundation rocks when we see the uh, strength of the foundation rock at the base of that particular wall the foundation rock should be very very sound so the strength of foundation rock is very very important you see gravity dam there are different types of gravity dams sometimes what happens the upstream face you see upstream face and what is downstream face the upstream face of gravity dam may be sometimes vertical or sometimes inclined so this is nothing but the gravity dam one of the famous example in india that is the bhakra nangal dam it is located on the satluj river that is the example of this type of uh, gravity dam so one more type of this gravity dam is a butresses dam what is that butresses dam this is a one type of gravity dam in this case what happens a thin concrete slab is supported from the downstream side so by butresses butresses means to give support thereby giving considerable construction material so that is nothing but the uh, what we can say that that is the butresses dam the axis of gravity dam is straight or sometimes curvature in nature also the rocks under butresses dam also are mostly strong what is the essential factor for the construction of this uh, particular dam you see in my side figure there are two types of gravity dam one is the vertical gravity dam you see in side figure how the vertical gravity dam is looks like there you see maximum water level also at the base you see that is the upstream side and downstream side at the bottom you see there is a hill and toy these are the two portions this is called a vertical gravity dam but in case of partially inclined gravity dam this is again one type of gravity dam but you see there is support is given and such type of dam is called as partially inclined gravity dam this is called a gravity dam now we will see the second type of dam that is the arc dam what is meant by the arc dam arc dam means a arc like so you see the arc dam is defined as it is a arc shaped structure of concrete that is nothing but the arc dam so it is designed you see in my side figure how it is designed so this type of dams are generally designed in a such way that the thrust forces acting on the dam are mainly transmitted by the arc action whatever the forces acting on such dams so because of the arc action arc shape the forces acting on such walls may be automatically reduced this is the engineering point behind this arc dam so such type of dams are generally built on where foundation rocks are not that much strong like a gravity dam so this is the main difference in between gravity and arc dam so this arc dam are again classified into two types so first one is the the constant radius arc dam you see in my side figure and second one is the the variable radius arc dam so what is the main difference in between the constant radius arc dam the radius of curvature you see the radius of curvature in the figure in the side diagram you see throughout the structure is constant that is called as the constant radius arc dam whereas the second type that is the the variable radius arc dam in this case 
when we look the structure the curvature are different on the upstream and vertical alignment is often called as cupola dam in which the radius is changing that is the main difference in between the constant radius arc dam and the variable radius arc dam so this is nothing but the types of this arc dam so these types of dams are generally suited where valley is very narrow in that case such type of dams are very very suitable this type of dams have a strong and uniformly sloping wall such type of dams have many advantages compared to the other types of dams arc dams are generally thin walled compared to the gravity dam and therefore it needs very low material and cost of the project also decreases sometimes what happens when the engineer going to design the mixture of gravity and arc dam so such type of dams are called as arc gravity dam and one of the famous example in the india that is the iduki dam in kerala so that is the called a mixed type of dam that is a gravity as well as arc dam so such type of dams are called as arc gravity dam so this is nothing but the arc dam then third type of dam that is the ardan dams or it is also called as embankment dams where valley is wide in that case such type of dams are designed and these dams are constructed where the material is easily available if the dam is one place and you are bringing material from other place maybe 100 or 200 km so that is not suitable for the construction of these type of ardan dams then third thing is it is very very important they are generally trapezoidal in shape trapezoidal shape means like this you see in my side figure how the shapes these dams have so there are two sides which are not parallel to each other so such type of shape is called as trapezoidal trapezoidal shape and the walls of these dams are generally trapezoidal in nature they are made up of single type of material sometimes it may be earth material or sometimes it is built by rock fill or rocky material or sometimes it is a mixture of more than one maybe uh, clay material as well as rocky material so this is the construction material required for the construction of these dams they are constructed on a weak foundation generally where foundation rock is not that much sound at that place generally such type of dams are placed uh, sometimes maybe unconsolidated material at the bottom at that place also such type of dams are generally constructed or sometimes weak river glacial deposits are there then we can also uh, build such type of uh, dams you see in my side figure at the middle portion of the wall there is a clay material and we are very familiar with the clay because clay having property that is the impervious nature because it can't leak the water from one place to the another place it has low permeability and because of that the such type of materials is used in the construction of such dams now depending on upon the type of material these ardan dams are again classified into basically three types one is the earth fill dams second one is the rock fill dams and third one is the mixed dams mixed dam means it is mixture of earth as well as uh, rocky material then such type of dams are called as uh, ardan dams you see in my side figure at the center you see there is a clay is used and this clay is generally rolled clay you see one of the famous indian example that is the hiraku dam in orissa that is the example of the biggest ardan dam in india that is the hiraku dam in orissa so you see in first figure how the stone fields are generally how the uh, stony uh, dams generally built what is the material is used you see in second figure that is the clay and earth fill material so both are used here and third one that is the at the central core there is a clay is there and at the transition zone it is filled by the earth fill as well as rock fill and in this way we can build three types of dams so in this video we have discussed what is dam what are the main objectives behind the construction of the dams and what are the different types of dams 
we have discussed basically three types of dams so that is gravity dam then arc dam and third one that is called as earthen dams so this classification we have discussed in detail if you like my video share and subscribe my youtube channel that is geo entire all about there thank you